Today, I'm going to be playing out the career of Christian McCaffrey, but after every season, he's going to be switching to a new team. So as you guys can see to start off year number one, obviously my boy Christian McCaffrey is on the San Francisco 49ers. He's also a 98 overall. That is mad disrespectful. I mean, my guy is in the MVP race and considering he's a running back, that is absolutely insane. So Madden is kind of doing him dirty. He should definitely be a 99. But as you can see, this is what the offense is looking like. I mean, they're clearly stack the o-line is terrible so that is going to be a problem but hopefully trent williams can save the day and it's the same story with the defense you guys already know this but the niners probably have the best defense in the league right now so obviously i'm expecting good things to happen in year number one i mean this team is stacked they're clearly built to win a super bowl in real life they're one of the two teams that are still undefeated and as expected the niners went off this season going 15 and 2 to absolutely smoke the division and that record is all also gonna give them the number one seed in the playoffs so we're already off to a hot start here i mean the niners are super bowl favorites right now but as you can see just like real life christian mccaffrey had a career high 1600 yards for 14 touchdowns but as you can see we got to take on the giants in the divisional round and i mean obviously the giants were not meant to be in the playoffs so now we play the falcons for a trip to the super bowl so just like that we're one win away from the super bowl but obviously i'm just gonna try and get mccaffrey going for a run here i feel like that's the best way to start off this game and that is a massive pickup i mean 22 yards on your first carry of the game is no joke so i'm gonna give the ball back to mccaffrey and see if he can do the same thing here and we have another lane wide open for another big pickup my boy is balling right now bro i mean i'm just gonna keep running it until this stops working because i mean why would i stop running it when it seems like we get a first down every time that was almost a touchdown if we would have been able to beat that last defender we would have definitely been in the end zone but I mean, this team is loaded with weapons. It's not just McCaffrey. So I'm going to hit Ayuk this time. And it looks like that's going to be third and inches. I mean, that kind of looked like a first down, but apparently we're just short. So once again, I'm just going to hand the ball off to McCaffrey. And hopefully this time we can get some good blocks so we can sneak into the end zone. I mean, our O-line surprisingly been helping out quite a bit so far. And there's your touchdown from McCaffrey. I mean, that was well-deserved. My boy went off this drive. So just like that, we're going to take the lead first here. As you can see, we have the lead in the fourth quarter, but it's looking like the Falcons are going to surprisingly tie the game up. I mean, if we can score here, which we won't do, so we're in overtime. The Falcons scored as well, so I mean, it's something or nothing here, and it looks like I think we missed a PAT attempt. Bro, there is no way we're going to lose to the Falcons. That is busted, bro. We actually missed the PAT attempt, so we're going to lose by one point to the Atlanta Falcons out of all teams. That is a super disappointing way to end off the season. I mean, we were clear Clearly Super Bowl favorites, but apparently we're going to choke in the most important game of the season. But no surprise, it looks like Patty Mahomes is going to win MVP this season. Oh, you have got to be joking right now. It looks like the Raiders are going to win the Super Bowl this year against the Falcons. I mean, that makes no sense whatsoever, but we're just going to ignore that. But anyways, that brings us to year number two. And as you can see, it looks like Christian McCaffrey signed with the Buffalo Bills. And I mean, as you'd expect, this team is stacked. I mean, this offense is probably even better than the 49ers now and same story with the defense this is clearly a top five defense in the league but once again we're gonna go ahead and sim to the playoffs and just like last year i have some very high expectations for this team and it looks like the bills are gonna go 17 and 0 to win the division and that record is obviously gonna give them the number one seed in the playoffs i mean i knew this team was gonna be good but i really didn't expect to go undefeated so it seems like mccaffrey might be the missing piece that the bills need but as you can see once again he had another career high season with 1600 yards for 17 touchdowns but it looks like we gotta take on joe burrow and the Bengals in the divisional round this should be a close game because josh allen has had problems with joe burrow but it looks like we're gonna sneak away with a three-point win so now we play patrick mahomes and the chiefs for a trip to the super bowl and just when you think everything is going right for this team and nothing could possibly go wrong christian mccaffrey gets injured so he is out for the rest of the season so that is definitely up setting i'm pretty butthurt about that to be honest with you but we do have james cook who might be the most underrated running back in the league next to isaiah pacheco but anyways we did get a stop on like fourth and one so that's why we're starting with such good field position as you can see though the chiefs did bring up a third down so we desperately need something here it looks like we're gonna find hardy for the first to keep the drive alive after that though i mean this might not work i can't really tell the way the defense is set up i'm gonna try and go for a shot with Diggs here and hopefully good things 
just happened. That is going to work for the first down. And we're still going. So just like that, 23 yards to go and we're in the end zone. I'm going to try and go for a shot of digs here, though, because we really haven't done anything with him today. And it looks like he's going to be open for another big pickup. I mean, this play worked the last time I ran it, so I'm just going to try and go back to Diggs here. I mean, this is really risky considering we're in the red zone, but we're going to find Diggs who's going to drop the ball. This is really throwing me off because this guy usually catches his passes, but the last two times I've targeted him, Diggs has dropped the ball. So, I mean, we need somebody to get open here. This is desperation time, and it looks like we're going to find him in the end zone. So, he's finally going to catch it for the touchdown. As you can see in the fourth quarter, though, I mean, the Chiefs are getting absolutely dog they're kind of running out of time so it's looking like they are not coming back at this point bills and chiefs is always an absolute war surprisingly that one was not that close the bills kind of blew out the chiefs so i mean i'll take it josh allen's finally gonna take down mahomes in the playoffs so that's gonna send the bills to the super bowl in year number two and as you can see josh allen's gonna win mvp this season which is well deserved because i mean this team has not lost a single game this season and the last team standing in our way is the cowboys so i mean if we can take them down we go undefeated but this is gonna be a test i mean the cowboys are never an easy team to beat and as you can see the super bowl is in dallas this year so this team technically has double home team advantage that was overthrown but we caught it as i already said i'm definitely butthurt that we don't have christian mccaffrey but james cook has been doing his job that guy has been going off today i don't know about that that's gonna be close we're gonna find digs for a massive pickup but anyways after that i'm gonna try and go on the run of cook here because i mean this guy has been going off today 10 yards is a bit of a stretch, but I mean, hopefully we can get a path, which we won't. So as dangerous as this is in the red zone against the Cowboys, I'm going to put it in the air here and hopefully Diggs can get to this. I mean, it's looking like he's actually wide open. That's going to be another touchdown from Stefan Diggs. That was one hell of a drive from Diggs. I mean, that guy put up a bunch of yardage. As you can see, we have a really tight game in the fourth quarter and we're going to get the ball back. So, I mean, if we could have scored there, that would have put the game away, but we did didn't so the cowboys are gonna win by three points so we're gonna finish the season at 19 and 1 i mean we are one win away from a super bowl and going 20 and 0 as good as james cook played i feel like if we had christian mccaffrey we probably would have won that game but unfortunately we didn't so as you can see dak prescott and the cowboys are going to be hoisting a lombardi trophy this year but anyways that's going to bring us to year number three and as you can see this season mccaffrey went to the new orleans saints and obviously this is a massive downgrade from the bills and the 49ers but this team still isn't terrible and the defense is actually looking pretty solid i mean elvin Kamara is kind of washed up at this point so now that the saints have mccaffrey they could surprise a lot of people this year but as you can see it looks like the saints are going to disappoint this season going 7 and 10 which doesn't put them in the playoffs i mean i honestly had the saints winning that division but apparently that's not going to happen but as you can see mccaffrey finished with 1200 yards for 12 touchdowns which isn't bad but it's not as good as his last two seasons and it looks like this year joe burrow is gonna win mvp and it looks like the Bengals are also gonna beat the cowboys in the super bowl so that is one hell of a year for joe burrow but that's gonna bring us to year number four and it looks like this year mccaffrey signed with the patriots and as you can see this is what the offense is looking like i mean they're all right and same story with the defense they're not terrible but they're definitely nothing special i mean having mccaffrey can definitely put your team into playoffs but with the division that we have to fight against I honestly don't think this is going to be a playoff year. So this is probably going to be another disappointing season. And as you can see, the Pats went 5-12, and 12, which puts them at dead last in the division. Obviously, that does not put them in the playoffs. So, I mean, the last two seasons, that's kind of just bad decision-making from McCaffrey. I mean, those teams were really not built to win a Super Bowl. The Saints were all right, but as you can see, McCaffrey finished the season with 1,500 yards for nine touchdowns, which is another pretty decent season. But as you can see, no surprise it looks like Patrick Mahomes is going to win another MVP this season and it looks like the Bills ended up being the Packers in the Super Bowl so Josh Allen finally got himself a ring but anyways that's going to bring us to year number five which is going to be the final season of this video and to end things off our boy McCaffrey
McCaffrey is on the Cowboys. And I mean, as you can see by this offense, this is definitely our best chance at winning a Super Bowl next to the Bills and Niners. And I'd say clearly the Cowboys have a top five defense in the league just because of Micah Parsons. I mean, our safety situation is kind of alarming, but we're just gonna go ahead and ignore that. I mean, the Cowboys do have a really easy schedule this season. So hopefully that plays a factor at putting us in the playoffs. But as you can see, the Cowboys are gonna finish off the season going 15 and two to win the division. And that record is also gonna give us the number one seed in the playoffs. With that being said though, keep in mind that we had a really easy schedule that season. The hardest team we played was the Buffalo Bills and they did end up beating us. But as you can see, McCaffrey had 1600 yards for a career high 18 touchdowns. So once again, he is the best running back in the league. But it looks like we gotta take on the nine and eight Packers in the divisional round. And as you can see, we're gonna escape with a four point win. So now we play the Panthers for a trip to the Super Bowl. I mean, I know the Panthers are terrible in real life right now, but at this point, we're like five years into the future. So the Panthers are a pretty solid team. Bryce Young has gone all the way up to a 91 overall. That might be a touchdown. McCaffrey is gone. Juke, we're still going. That is a huge pickup. I mean, I'm not even gonna underplay it. That was an absolute highlight reel. I missed using McCaffrey because the last two seasons, we didn't even make it to the playoffs. And the last time we did on the Bills, he was injured. So I didn't even use him. But we already know this. When this guy is on the field, he is absolutely terrifying. He is a force to wreck with. But anyways, he's gone. That's looking like it's gonna be a touchdown from McCaffrey. So two runs on the drive. And this guy is already in the end zone. So that is definitely a hot start for the Cowboys. I really hope we can keep that going. But again, the Panthers are a pretty solid team at this point. But as you can see, we have the ball in the fourth quarter. And we're gonna get another field goal. So we have a nice 10-point lead on the Panthers make that 13 so it's looking like that's gonna do it so in the last season of this video it looks like the Dallas Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl but anyways no surprise once again for like the third time today Patrick Mahomes has won another MVP and it looks like we gotta take on the Buffalo Bills in the Super Bowl who are one of the two teams that actually ended up beating us this season so this is gonna be a war we do start with the ball here though so I'm gonna hand it off to McCaffrey and hopefully he can get another good pickup that is gonna be like three yards which really isn't what i was looking for but we're gonna go to other direction this time ed oliver is gonna be on our ass so i mean this might get shut down and it is so the run game's not working the way i would have liked it to work to start this game off so i'm gonna put it in the air this time and hopefully i think this is one of our rookies thomas that's gonna be a first down and some i'm gonna go back on the run though because i mean i feel like if we can get the ground game going like we did last time mccaffrey is gonna go off and we actually got some blocks here and we have a clear path to the end zone the defender missed us so that's gonna be an oh dude we almost celebrated too early okay i was getting cocky there but that's gonna be another touchdown from christian mccaffrey which is gonna give us the lead first i mean this guy definitely deserves a super bowl he has been going off in every game he plays so hopefully this can actually be our season as you can see we have a really close game in the fourth quarter though the bills are gonna tie things up and they got the ball back twice so i mean it's looking like that's probably gonna do it we got 30 something seconds here and we're gonna get a touchdown with 14 seconds on the clock so somehow we're gonna beat the odds and beat the bills by one point for the super bowl i mean that game came right down to the wire just like i expected we're gonna get our revenge against josh allen because he did beat us in the regular season but i mean that was actually such a crazy finish it was looking like we were gonna lose but then we got a touchdown last second to take the dub so after as you can see to end off this video, Christian McCaffrey is finally gonna get himself a Lombardi trophy with the Dallas Cowboys, which is well-deserved because I mean, my boy balled out today. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. And if you have any video ideas, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to get to as many of them as I can. And while you're down there, comment the most random thing you can think of so we can confuse everybody in the comments section but other than that i'll see you guys in the next one peace out